So let us pray. Tell me about who was really important to you when you first became a Christian. Um, and what I tend to get back is that people come up with an extraordinary list of different people who really help them enter into the life of faith. This whole topic has actually come at a really great time for me. Um, God's been calling me into a, a new season of change and growth this year. And you know, change can be a challenge, but I know that that's what growth is all about. It, it should be a, a natural and normal thing for all people of faith. One of the things that I particularly appreciated this week, as we've been everyone, everywhere, everyday faith, growing in faith, is the importance of walking and journeying with other people. I've been very struck by the videos that have shared something of individual personal stories and reminded that twice this week in our lectionary readings, we've had readings about being the body of Christ and that we're called to be part of that one body and yet with such great differences and aware that some of those differences can get in the way and make us feel that perhaps we, we don't want to be part of that one body. But the importance that it's only really a, a, a full and a whole body when everybody is there and part of it. So recognising that my journey in faith is as important to other people as theirs is to mine and that actually that difference sometimes helps enhance and grow and deepen my faith because it challenges me and it encourages me. I have particularly appreciated the variety of voices on the videos. They have all been clear and thought provoking and I like the mix of lay and ordained. I also appreciate that there isn't just one set aim for the week or even for each day, but the materials allow room for each person to make it personal to them. And finally, I like the fact that you can engage quickly with the material if you're pressed for time, but you can also dwell for longer. I thought today, Wednesday's theological reflection was spot on. I found it really helpful actually just to think um, what are the things that I do in my day-to-day -day life that um, I do because of my faith, um, maybe the way my faith impacts what I do, but also the things that I do to draw myself closer to God. Reading Paul's words to the Ephesian church, he talks about how from Christ, the body of the church grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. As I reflect this week upon growing in faith, I pray that I may learn the skills better of valuing others, disagreeing well and becoming more mature in Jesus Christ. I really loved hearing about people's spiritual rhythms this week, whether that's running and praying, praying the rosary or spending quiet periods with God. I've enjoyed developing my own new spiritual rhythm as I've set aside time each morning to look at the everyday faith resources and I felt like I've been part of a much bigger, louder rhythm that's been sort of pulsating around the diocese as we've engaged with the resources together. I've also been reminded of something that a priest said to me recently, never underestimate the simple rhythms of your Christian life. Some of the rhythms that we perhaps take for granted can spark curiosity in others, help them come to faith and help them grow in faith. Music